Hi everyone, uh, Joseph here. Going to talk about the role of the ergonomist in the workplace today. Um, they're often called a, a human factors expert or human factors engineer. Um, basically, their the core concept of their role is to maximize productivity within the workplace, uh, in the, all the while uh, decreasing um, and minimizing injury and fatigue for the workers. Um, they'll do this by kind of analyzing. Uh, the interface between worker and machine or worker and workstation um, and basically identify risks hopefully before anybody does experience any pain, discomfort, or fatigue and uh, implement a solution uh, to kind of correct um, any, uh, any imperfections in the system. Uh, they do also help to investigate uh, accidents and injuries within the workplace after they've happened and then again hopefully come up with a solution for that. Um, they can do this by uh, writing manuals on proper use, implementing training programs for workers to go through to make sure that they're maintaining proper technique and using the workstation appropriately. Um, I find this kind of interesting because we do have to take an ergonomics class for this certificate for occupational health nursing. Um, I don't know how many of you were lucky enough to um, have a class with Dr. Bradley Joseph but he's Super entertaining, really interesting guy, super, super knowledgeable, and he's really a, uh, a kind of an ergonomist first guy. Um, so he was just sort of a wealth of information. I didn't, I didn't interview him particularly for this assignment, but uh, able to recall a lot of his, a lot of his stories and a lot of his, uh, his anecdotes for him. Um, as far as education goes, it does require um, at least a minimum of a bachelor's degree. Um, a lot of kind of the larger corporations are going to want a master's degree and if you want to go into like private consulting that's going to usually require like a doctorate degree. Um, the bachelor's degree is ideally going to be in a relevant field something like either like engineering or physiology or psychology, um, biotech, um, business administration, something that kind of you know at least at least one segment of what an ergonomist does. Um, there are degrees specifically in ergonomics and human factors as well. Um, within the work, or as far as where they work, you'll see them all over. They're in the private and public sector. Um, military likes to hire them. Um, they're usually in an industrial setting because that's where you're going to see the most workplace injuries. Uh, and they obviously, like I say, they, they work in private consulting too, so that, you know, private office from home potentially, um, and of course in academia. Um, it doesn't require a, a um, any particular certification to be a um, ergonomist, but there are certifications that are offered. Um, there's a whole, a whole spectrum of different ones that I could find. Uh, the most common one is you can be a certified professional ergonomist. Uh, and that is offered through the Board of uh, Certified Professional Ergonomics. So I think that's been the most common one I've come across. And I think what really separates their role f from the other roles in the in the occupational health field is that they really don't focus on like the engineering aspect, like the machine or the patient care aspect, like just how, you know, the human, but they really kind of focus on that in between where they connect um, as far as what they make. Um, Salary starting can be expected to be about 48000 The average salary for a master's prepared ergonomist is $78,000. Uh, working in academia, that bumps up to like $92,000. And private consulting, you're going to make the most money around $180,000. So it can be a pretty lucrative field to go into. Um, as far as stereotypes go, I didn't really find anything um, in particular. So I do recall Dr. Joseph saying that one of the things that people would kind of associate with the, the safety and risk guys and uh, may, might not be too excited to see it come and think that you're going to try to correct what they're already doing for work or tell them that they, you know can't do something that, that has been working for them. But otherwise, it sounds like a pretty good field to go into. Thanks for listening.